Hi everyone, uh, it's time for a quiz. Could you win £150 by getting eight questions right? This is what we're going to try. Uh, this is from last night's quiz at the Safari Lounge pub in Abbey Hill in Edinburgh. Nobody won the money because nobody got all eight questions right. If you do, you get £150. No one did, it's a rollover. So we're playing for 180 next week. Come along, join us, have fun. But in the meantime, here's the questions. Now I'm going to show you the questions... Uh, I'm going to tell you the answer pretty much straight away after each question. So if you need more time, just pause the video and uh, have a think. But uh, I'll tell you the answer straight away. Right, here we go. Here are the questions. Eight questions for £150. Question number one. Which Australian city is the setting for the TV soap opera Neighbours? Is it Sydney or is it Melbourne? That's question number one. That's about as much time as you get. I'm about to show you the answer Pause the video if you need to. The correct answer is Melbourne. It's set in Erinsborough. Or was. It's just been cancelled. That's it. No more neighbours. How about that? Uh, Erinsborough's fictional Melbourne is real. Right, question number two. Which term uh, was made up or coined uh, to mean a musical genre by William Burroughs in his 1962 novel or The Soft Machine? Uh, what phrase did he come up with, meaning a, a music type? Heavy metal, new wave, or dubstep? Quite a few people got bust on this, actually. Correct answer is heavy metal. Also mentioned in his book, The Naked Lunch. Uh, I don't know too much about it. He used it to mean a musical term, a uh, genre. I think he kind of made up the genre in his head and then later on people used that term to mean what we know as heavy metal. I think. I don't know. Uh, right, anyway. Um, question number three. Which UK TV series was first shown in 2008 and it was about characters who go to a fictional school called Rudge Park? Is that The Inbetweeners? Is it Skins? Or is it Waterloo Road? The answer for this is... In between us. Good show. Funny. Number four. Uh, which bird can live for 80 years? Eight, zero, 80 years. That's a long time to be a bird. Um, is it a flamingo, an ostrich, or a barn owl? Who can live that long? Here comes the answer. Now, a lot of people did get busted in this last night. A lot of people said, uh, well, the answer's flamingo. All right, there was one at Adelaide Zoo, lived to 83 years old. And uh, Penka from it, Penka said to me, they don't look like they could last that long. I agreed. You know, you get the ones at Edinburgh Zoo, they're pretty flimsy. Uh, but you, but they live a hell of a long time, still pink, you know. Ostrich is only five, 45, owls only 27. Right, what was discovered and explained by these people, Otto Hahn, Lisa Meitner and Otto Frisch? In the 1930s, uh, did they come up with dark matter or nuclear fission? That's question number five. Are you still in the game? Did you get bust on the bird? If you're still in, you did better than anybody else last night. Everyone was bust by question four. The answer to this one is nuclear fission. Wow. Them Nazis. You know, watch out for them Nazis. Uh, which I'm, you know, I don't even know. I'm guessing they're German from the names, 1930s. You know what I mean? Um, good job they didn't get the bomb first. Who knows what could have happened? Uh, number six, which of these comedians is the eldest? All famous British comedians. Who's the oldest? Bill Bailey, Harry Hill or Vic Reeves? Uh, the answer for this is Vic Reeves. Born in the 50s, just... The other's born in 1964, so he is five years older than the others. Right, which 1993 film, question number seven, won seven Oscars? So the most Oscars out of these films, because the others got less. Saving Private Ryan, Schindler's List, or Silence of the Lambs? Pick now, going to show you the answer. The answer is Schindler's List. The others were from different years anyway and won fewer Oscars. Right, okay. If you're still in the game, you're doing amazing. You're about to win the money, if you get this last question right. You know about Christopher Columbus, question number eight. Uh, he discovered America in 1492. 
um, or the Americas. But when he died 14 years later in 1506, uh, whereabout was he then? Uh, was he in the Americas? Was he back in Europe or was he halfway across the ocean? Okay, Christopher Columbus, where did he actually die? Uh, the answer is, you get this one right, you get £150, Europe. He was in Valladolid or Valladolid in Spain. I don't know how you say it. Valladolid, probably, something like that. And that's where he was. He got sick, died. A shame. Uh, so I'll show you all the answers together. Oops. There's all the answers together. Melbourne heavy metal in between us, Flamingo, Nuclear Fission, Fick Reeves, Schindler's List, Europe. If you got them all right, you did amazing. Nobody did last night. Everyone was bust on the, especially on the bird question. A lot of people said uh, ostrich. Quite a lot of people said owl. Hardly anyone said flamingo. There's the money for next week. Come to the quiz, £180 next week. Moolah. Bye.